Okay, there are two ways that you can validate answers from students to check that they're right on the form. So let's just um, uh, set up a form here. So I'm going to call, just call this my test form. Uh, I'm going to set up a question. Let's set up a maths question. So I'm going to do it's very simple. What is two times two? Okay. Now the first way is we're going to set up a validation. So we need it to be on short answer and at the bottom here where it says required you need to move that across and then on the three little buttons if you go down to response validation you can then select what you want it to be now with this one obviously the number needs to be um, equal to four okay and you might want to put no, that is incorrect if it is not the right answer. There are lots of other options that you could do because you might have text there um, and you might want it to say certain words or things that, that happen. That means that when you set that up, the form now cannot move forward without having that um, number four put in. So it will just keep giving it wrong until they actually put the right answer in. The only thing to say is that if you did um, something like what is the capital of London, sorry, capital of England, sorry, um, which of course is not a number, it is a text, and we are going to write in London, um, it would be wrong if they wrote London with a small l. It would need to be exactly as you've written here for the form to move on. Now, it's no bad thing that they would put a capital letter L on there, but you would probably need to make that clear um, to them. The second way that you can um, do it is when you, you can then make it a quiz. So if you go into settings and you go to quizzes, and then you can click make this a quiz. Um, and what it what it will do here is it will mark the the answers and so you now get an answer key down here and um, you add the correct answer in here which is London okay and you can then mark all other answers as incorrect um, you might want to give it a point and depending on how many questions you have how many points you have now the difference between this and the previous one is is this one will sort of add up all the points at the end. They will be allowed to move on in the form, whereas the one before, they have to get the right answer before they move on. So it all depends what you, what you want to do with it. But that's how you can set up a Google form so that it can be used to validate the pupil's answers um, and mark the pupil's answers as you go along. I hope that's been helpful.